Sunlight Supply. I would like to introduce you to Paul Kronk, the designer of the Adjust Wing from Australia. Hi Dana, let's go check out these wings. Well, as you can see, the uh, Adjuster Wings come in, in, in quite compact packaging. All right, so the contents of the box are quite simple. You have the reflector wings, you have the opponents for attaching the wings together, and you have the, uh, the lamp holder, which is an adjustable lamp holder. You can see quickly here. Uh, inside this package, there's another package which has what we call the hanging hooks and the adjustment wires inside. And this, uh, the, rest of, the rest of the contents of this package is really just uh, accessory material for helping you hang the, the wings. Okay, now I'm going to put the wings together and show everyone how easy and how quickly the adjust wings can be assembled. But before we put them together, we have to take off the protective plastic coating, which is just there to protect the wings uh, in transport. Now that the uh, plastic coating has been removed, we're going to put the wings together using the clip together system that doesn't require any screws or bolts. Okay, and now we're going to assemble the wings using the keyway and, and mushroom rivet system so that, that uh, does away with the need for nuts and bolts. The, uh, the keyways match up with the mushroom heads and the, the wings just clip together with one simple movement. Okay, now the wings are clipped together. You can see the back. The back has a dull surface and the front has a shiny surface. That's our reflective surface. And before we put anything else on the wings, we have to secure, the, secure them together with the hanging hooks. Okay, these are the two hanging hooks that fasten the wings together and stop them from moving. And these are the adjustment wires that we use to create the double parabolic curve. The bolts go straight through and they should marry up with the um, threaded inserts in the hanging hook. screw it on until it's just a bit more than finger tight. Okay. Well we've turned the reflector around and we're putting the second hanging hook on on the second end of the reflector. And now the reflector is rigid and secure and it's ready to be uh, flexed into its double parabolic shape. So to, uh, to begin with adjusting the wing, you put, the, you put your uh, adjustment wire in through the underside and then back in through uh, maybe the second hole, one of the holes closer to, this, to the end of the wing so that when you make your first adjustment it's not too narrow, it's, you're, not, you're not stressing the material by adjusting the first adjustment of the wing. I find the best way is to put one edge on the carpet or the floor and put your knee in the centre of the wing, just bend it around gently and attach the first wire. Then you'll see you've created a double parabolic shape by, um, just by tension across the two ends of the reflector. Okay, we're putting on the second adjustment wire. It's very much I put on the first one. Just repeat that same process. And it's done. You can see how uh, handy it was to have that tab there because there's a, a fair bit of tension at this point. And without that tab, you really wouldn't be able to hold on to it properly. Okay, so now you have the double parabolic wing shape formed. So now we have the adjustable lamp holder, which uh, connects the underside of the uh, adjuster wings by, by putting two screws in through the top. You'll notice that there's uh, three, three hole positions. This is a general position that we'd use for a 1,000 watt lamp. This is a, a less likely position that we'd use if, we, if the customer chose to use a 600 watt lamp in this reflector. And there's also another position where you can actually uh, install a 400 watt lamp if you, if you want to. Now we're going to uh, attach the, uh, the lamp holder. There's two, two thumb screws on the side that can be loosened. And the lamp position can be changed from around 3 inches from the inner surface of the uh, reflector right up to almost touching in a surface of your reflector. All right, now I'm going to explain uh, about the super spreader, which is an accessory to the adjuster wing. Uh, the spreader has a protective film over it, 
over the uh, glass coated aluminium and that needs to be removed before we uh, before use. We'll just put this straight on the mobile. Slips on and uh, you want the spreader to be horizontal with the reflector. So the lamp goes in after, after the spreader. But it should be in very close proximity for best results. And square this way, and square this way. Now the wing's complete, and it's ready for installation. Here would be a typical application of a large adjuster wing with a thousand watt lamp. Um, we've got the, the large spreader beneath, uh, Otterings installed as we showed before. This is a 4x4 four four, uh, sun hut um, and I would suggest to, to put this 1000 watt fitting, this large fitting in uh, a 4x4 four four, uh, but I'd really prefer it to, uh, to be used in a larger area where, where the lamp and the, and the uh, reflector could breathe and it would function uh, work very well in a 6x4 sun hut.